Coach Tricker and I'm here to talk about the difference between chemical reactions and nuclear reactions. Um, the first one is that chemical reactions have bonds that are broken and formed. Nuclear, the difference between chemical and nuclear, the biggest thing is that we're dealing with the nucleus. And so we're not dealing with um, the electrons, we're dealing with the nucleus. So in a nuclear reaction, the nuclei are going to emit particles or rays, and they're going to be giving those off. In a chemical reaction, you're actually taking bonds and breaking them and forming them. The second thing that's important to remember is that in a chemical reaction, atoms remain unchanged, but they are rearranged. So you can see if I have water and I break it down into hydrogen and oxygen, it's still hydrogen and it's still oxygen in the products. Nuclear reactions, and we're going to go over this in a minute, when you have a transmutation reaction, you're actually converting atoms, or actually converting into atoms of a different element. So I can take hydrogen and make it into helium, which is a fusion process. But I'm actually creating different elements, and that's where a big deal is, because we talked about how protons define what the atom is. Chemical reactions do not deal with protons. Nuclear reactions deal with changing the, nu the protons in the nucleus. And that leads us to our third point, where chemical reactions only involve valence electrons. So you've got your nucleus, and then you've got these circles with these electrons, and the valence electrons are the outer shell, okay? Nuclear reactions involve nucleons, which are protons and neutrons that are particles in the nucleus, all right? So, and they involve electrons also, but they really contain protons and neutrons when they're doing their reactions. So we're entering into the world of the nucleus. Right? And then the fourth thing is that chemical reactions are associated with a small amount of energy change. We talked about exothermic and endothermic and, and how there's energy change in, and there's heat exchange. Well, nuclear involves a huge amount, a large amount of energy changes. So there's a lot of energy in that nucleus and it's the smallest part of the atom. But when you start messing with it, that's where atomic bombs and you know, stuff like that can, can, uh, can be involved. So there's a lot of energy there. And fusion and fission. All right, so number five is the reaction rates of chemical reactions are influenced by temperature, pressure, concentration, and catalysts. And a catalyst is something that speeds up a chemical reaction. So that's going to be a vocab word you're going to need to know. Okay, a catalyst speeds up a chemical reaction. An inhibitor is something that slows a chemical reaction down. But chemical reactions are influenced by temperature, pressure, concentration, and catalysts, where nuclear reaction rates do not. They're not affected by temperature, pressure, concentration, or catalysts. Okay? So completely different as far as um, what affects the rates of reaction. So those are the main differences between chemical and nuclear reactions.